We're here on the north shore of Prince Edward Island near a place called Shipwreck Harbour. And right behind me is a survivor from one of the worst ice years that we've ever seen in, here in the Gulf of St. Lawrence. <coughs> the impact this is going to have on ice breeding seals like herp and hooded seals is likely to be very severe this year. We're expecting a huge uh, pup mortality of newborn pups that will not have the ice platform that they need to, to nurse from their mothers and to reach the age at which they can survive. Normally when IFA comes to the Gulf of St. Lawrence to observe the seal hunt and film the seal pups in their nursery, we need to go miles over solid ice to get there. This is my ninth year with IFA observing and documenting the seal hunt and coming it to the seal nurseries and I've never seen harp seals on solid land like this. It's really unusual and uh, it's, it's part of the change that we're going to be seeing with climate change and how it's going to affect species that rely on ice for their survival. Even though the environmental conditions this year are disastrous for harp seal pups, the Government of Canada has gone ahead and announced a quota of 330,000 seals to be killed as part of this year's commercial slaughter. Increasing the quota and announcing such a high quota this year in light of the increased mortality of pups we're going to be seeing is reckless and irresponsible. For more information and to learn how you can help, please visit ifa.org seals.